It is an honor and privilege to introduce the judges for this year, Ms. McDonald, Sabo Pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, our lead judge is former Miss Samoa and Miss South Pacific, Miss Verona Baca. Verona has worked over 16 years in the media industry of Samoa in both radio and television as a news anchor, radio announcer, news editor, and now general manager of Arthia Broadcasting Limited, TV3. Verona lives by the motto, Labora Restorare. Laborare restorare. Can't believe you made me say that, Verona. Your work is your prayer. What a beautiful motto. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our lead judge, Miss Verona Parker. Our second judge is Her Excellency Palavao Perina Sila Tualulele, the ambassador of Samoa to Japan. Ambassador of Samoa to Japan, Palama Ao is also our ambassador for Russia, the Philippines, the United Arab Emirates, and Palama Ao was the CEO and national coordinator behind Samoa's successful hosting of the UN SIDS conference. Palama Ao is a career diplomat spanning over 25 years, including posts in New York. She lives in Tokyo with her husband and son. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Her Excellency, Palaba Alperina Sila Tuala Delay, Ambassador of Samoa to Japan. Our third charge is the General Manager of Operation for McDonald's, Samoa and American Samoa, Mr. Leleu Carol Samueli. Sadaleo was born in American Samoa, raised in a home instilled on Samoan values by her late grandmother, Sadaleo Meaitu Tautolo from the village of Pastolta and Saipipi Savai. Married to her high school sweetheart Stephen, they have four beautiful children. She is currently pursuing her master's degree in business at Chamondale University in Hawaii. Sadaleo is the McDonald's general manager of operations, but she tells us that her dad started her as a fry cook in 2003. She now heads over 200 employees across the two Samoas. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. <laughs> Our fourth church needs no introduction. Award-winning editor for the Samoan Observer, Pata Afa Ken Isa. Born and bred in Samoa, Pata Afa Ken Isa hails from Salamumu, Saleaula, and Papasa Tawasavai. He is the editor of the Samoan Observer newspaper group, which produces Samoa's only daily newspaper and its most popular online version site, Samoa Observer. He is a veteran of the media industry, spanning over 20 years' experience, and having worked in Samoa all over the world with news agencies such as Reuters, AFP, and the Associated Press. He is married, he is married to Laufalea Na Ebi, and is the proud father of two beautiful girls. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ta'afa Kenny Isai, Samoa Observer newspaper. Our fifth judge is the country manager for Ford Hyundai Samoa, Mr. Simon Fruin. Simon Fruin is the country manager of the Ford Hyundai Samoa dealership. He has worked over a decade in the automotive industry. His success motto is to connect with the people. He is a qualified engineer, an experienced business developer, and a proud father of one. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Fruin. Ford Hyundai Samoa dealership. We also have an alternative charge. Former Miss Samoa and Miss Pacific Islands, Cherie Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, Cherie is a former Miss Samoa and Miss Pacific Islands. She is currently the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Corporate Services at the National University of Samoa. 
Please prepare together for Cherie Robinson. We have three judges for the special awards. Firstly, please welcome international designer Cecilia Kyle. Ladies and gentlemen, Cecilia is self taught and started exploring fashion in 1994 from her kitchen table. She opened CFH, Cecilia's Fashion House, in 2001. CFH, CFH has showcased in fashion runways throughout the Pacific, New Zealand, and Australia over the past 23 years, also receiving invitation to showcase for Oxford Fashion Studios during the New York, London, and Paris Fashion Week 2017. She is honored that one of her pieces made a Hollywood red carpet movie premiere. Cecilia is a very strong advocate of made in Samoa products. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Cecilia Kaya. Our second special charge is businesswoman and designer, Benina Van Suyabi. Benina Van Suyabi, married with children from the village of Malia. She is the managing director for Gardenia Linano Boutique and Things. She's worked 21 years as a flight attendant and superintendent with Polynesian Airlines before entering the fashion industry as a designer while still flying. Benina has been involved with Miss Samoa and Miss South Pacific organizing committees for many, many years and has participated in local and overseas fashion shows. Ladies and gentlemen, Benina Barnes to your meeting. And our first special talk is international designer, Japunu Omanu Viseo Louis Sunsen. Japunu Omanu is the owner of the Viseo Bridal Couture, born and raised in Samoa. Viseo is a renowned fashion designer based in Auckland. Japunu's fashion garments have been showcased at the World Wearable Arts Museum in New Zealand. He has won the Supreme Award for the Villa Maria Cox Culture Fashion Show, and he is a three-time winner of the Manukau Designer Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Tapunu Omanu with Cecile Lewis Thompson. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have our shooteneers. They have a difficult task of tallying the judges' points from the various categories. Tonight, we are honored to have no less than the president of the Samoa Institute of Accountants. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Susana Laulu. Ms. Laulu is a highly respected member of the Institute and has led the professional body for over 10 years. Ms. Laulu is the CEO of the Development Bank of Samoa. Our second student here is Fan Tuainu Dennis McGrath. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Fan Tuainu Dennis McGrath is a CPA and also a member of the Samoa Institute of Accountants. Fan Tuainu is the Audit Director of, for the Performance, Compliance and Environmental Audit Unit of the Samoa Audit Office. Ladies and gentlemen, Fan Tuainu Dennis McGrath. I am really looking forward to this round calligraphy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now coming to one of our important categories, the sarong category. Don't get too excited, Lulu. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to this category. Lulu, how about reading out and see if contestant number one is ready behind the stage here. Please, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Our beautiful, colorful Samoa are renowned for its exotic features. Tonight, Natalie Sarong will have personified this through her color choice of royal blue. Prints of Laumei also seashells complement the Sarong. She's reflecting on many Samoan beaches. The Sarong wear has been designed by Letassi. 
dancing her way to the beach in her sarong. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your contestant number one, Miss Samoa New Zealand, Natalie Leitulangi Tovai. She did say her passion was dancing. Thank you, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Please welcome contestant number two, Miss EMP Karameli Oriana Susta. Karameli's ear ow ow is an explosion of colors representing the vibrant flora and fauna of our beautiful, colorful Samoa. Hand-painted to perfection and tied conveniently for practicality, Karameli is ready to hit the beach at Matareva and then cool off in her favorite freshwater pool, Piula. She says these are must-stop-over locations if you are visiting our islands. The design on her sarong draws its inspiration from the colorful hedges of hibiscus, French panis, and more that lines our roads and call out Talufa to everyone passing by. It is a feature of our natural landscape that demonstrates our welcoming nature, our warm smiles, and genuine hospitality. This, she says, is the experience and unforgettable sight that tourists adore about our beautiful, colorful Samoa. Thank you, Ms. EMP. Please welcome contestant number three, Ms. Dayano Maungalui. As a young lady growing up in Samoa, Loma Ava has noticed that domestic violence is an issue that is prevalent in not only our country, but throughout the world. As a future educator, this is an issue close to her heart, especially as it affects children. She has de decided to dedicate this pageant as a platform to highlight domestic violence in the hope of bringing about positive changes, given that this pageant celebrates the beauty of our country. Her sarong is made of a mixture of colors purple and red. Purple represents domestic violence. Red represents the struggles. However, she says, purple is also symbolic of courage, which is what those who live with violence arm themselves with in order to endure. Red is symbolic of fire, which is the fighting spirits that enables them to break through the cycle of violence. Luma'ava wears these colors through the waves of ocean, both through the rough and calm, to enjoy the beaches of Samoa. The different ties demonstrate Luma'ava Sarong, representing versatility and changes in life. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Luma'ava Avatuna Pali. Paftai, Ms. Diano Maungalui. Please welcome contestant number four, Ms. Tabs Design, Naito Sala, Jane Suster. As we cross the ocean of the South Pacific, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four is wearing a pink and blue ocean sarong, portraying the, be the true beauty of our lush and scenic surrounding of our natural environment. The design is printed all over her ear ow ow, and it symbolizes creativeness, beauty, and attitude of our Samoan women. Contestant number four's Lava Lava is derived from the beauty and richness in the color found in our natural environment, preserved through thousands of years of the Fa'asamoa. 
She conveys and entails features which make Samoa the pearl of the Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Tap Fashion, Maitrasala Jane Schuster. She's your contestant number four. Thank you, Miss Tap's design. May I call upon contestant number five, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. Fasi Faitafa Talimatasi Lilo Lebabi. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Samoa New South Wales Sarong is dedicated to the former Miss Samoa, Miss South Pacific, Manamea Apelu Shusta. Schwalga. Former Miss Samoa and Miss South Pacific, Manamea Apelu Schwalga. She's wearing a hot pink lava lava to show her support as a strong Tamaitai Samoa to all cancer victims. The bottom of her lava lava is printed with white hibiscus and it depicts the beauty of Tamaitai Samoa. The pink hibiscus on her lava lava portrays the haughtiness and sexiness of a Tamaitai Samoa in her own ways. The sarong was designed and put together by one of her favorite and one and only divas of Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Miss Samoa New South Wales, Fasi Faitafa Talimatasi. Tele Miss Samoa New South Wales. Please welcome contestant number six, Miss Samoa Australia, Hopeling Ayesi Toloa. Samoa Australia steps onto the stage in a graceful full body tie of the customary Yelava Lava, hand printed with the sights and scenes of our environment that cause us to stop and consider God's wonders. Tonight, Hopeland Sarong is inspired by the week that has been for her and her pageant sisters, the Miss McDonald's Samoa contestants in this year's theme of My Beautiful Colorful Samoa. Wrapped over the shoulders and behind her back, it provides comfortable but secure swimming attire. It provides perfectly suitable beach wear, swimwear ready for volleyball. Ooh, what's that? Want a little bit more leg? No problem, Hopeland demonstrates this with a simple tie, adjustable coincidentally complementing her figure even more. Of course, not forgetting the finishing touch to any island beauty wear, that beautiful say. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Samoa Australia, her sarong was printed and tied by Ari Lay Couture. Please give her a hand of applause. Thank you very much, Miss Samoa Australia. Please welcome contestant number seven, Miss Samoa Victoria, Miss Adele Fao Sophia. Part of her body is adorned with a lofa accessory, which is an interpretation of a time when Samoa was pure in its tradition before the arrival of missionaries. The accessory is made up of a lofa necklace, which is placed strategically to ensure her mamalu is being respected. 
The sarong is made up of a Tuya chiffon material, hand painted with textile ink to showcase the colors of the rainbow, which is a representative of the beautiful, colorful Samoa theme. It's wrapped around her waist and tied to the back of Adele's body. All the rainbow colors together are a testament of God's eternal and amazing power. The rainbow appears after mighty storms when things are at their worst. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for contestant number seven, Miss Samoa Victoria. Thank you, Samoa Victoria. Welcome on the stage, contestant number eight, Miss Original Style, Miss Natasha Darrow. Fashion and colors illustrated in her sarong tonight. Consistent with the theme, Natasha has chosen various colors for her sarong, which symbolizes the beautiful environment of Samoa. The white represents sandy beaches, the green symbolizes the forest, red and yellow represent Samoa's sun that gives life to the environment and warmth to our people. It is this warmth and welcoming nature that attracts the tourists and makes us unique. The colorful seashells, which are also printed on Natasha's sarong, represent an ocean abundant in seafood which village communities rely on for subsistence. Natasha's umbrella is made from fabric that is hand printed to match her sarong. It is designed to protect her from the scorching sun. Natasha is also wearing a say in her hair giving her sarong that finishing touch. All in all, Natasha's sarong paints a picture of Samoa's natural beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number eight, Miss Original Star, Natasha Darrow. Thank you very much, Miss Original Star. Please welcome contestant number nine, Miss House of Gold, Miss Alexandra Yakopo. symbolizes peace and serenity of our paradise Samoa. It's tied to be comfortable for the beach, but still fit with the traditional values of a true Samoan lady. The green color dominates the front, portrays the pristine and our lush forest in paradise. The waterfall flowing from the mountain illustrates the natural renewed energy of Samoa. Water is one crucial element of life signifying creation and change for the benefits of our people. Orange represents the beautiful Samoan sunset that tourists fall in love with. A promise for new beginnings after a spectacular sunset is a beautiful sunrise. The hand coconut tree symbolizes victory and independence as our ancestors fought for the from the colonial powers. Her brown represents our luxurious, rich, and inherent land from our ancestors that we belong to. And Drandra says that the yellow right at the bottom there represents the sandy beaches. The sun and the light is the strength of our Samoan people. Alexandra's Politasi also has different shades of blue representing the many lagoons for fishing. Blue symbolizes the knowledge of the Fa'asamoa passed down from ancestors. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for contestant number eight. Number nine, Miss House of Hope, Alexandra Yakopo. Thank you, Miss House of Hope. Oh, they all look stunning. The girls look absolutely beautiful in their surrounds, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to bring them up here one more time so that the judges can have a last look. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants of Miss McDonald's Samoa Pageant 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, how about those 
Restaurant. Please put your hands together for Miss McDonald's Slam of Contestants 2017. Thank you, girls. Thank you, girls. They all look very confident. We all know how important tourism in Samoa is. So Natalie would like to present her talent, which is advocating and marketing our beautiful, colorful Samoa as a tour guide. Natalie will conclude her talent with a traditional Samoan siva. Her talent for Letasi is designed by Letasi. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and get ready. Miss Samoa New Zealand, Natalie Leitulangi Toivai, contestant number one. Samoa Tourism Authority can just come and take her right now and be the head of marketing. Please put your hands together for contestant number one. Next up, our second talent is contestant number two, Miss EMD, Carmeli Oriana Schuster. For a time tonight, Carmeli will take you on a tour of Samoa and highlight the key features that will entice you to visit our islands. I am beautiful, colorful Samoa. Come visit me. Come visit me. I will embrace you with open arms and warm smiles. 
my mountains will rain high to welcome your arrival. My cascading waterfalls will lead you to the lagoons. Along my curves lined with flowers just for you. Because I am beautiful, colorful Samoa. Come visit me. Come visit me. My lands are fertile, plowed by the strength of my men, tender by the touch of my women, secured by the essence of my culture, blessed by the grace of my God. Because I am beautiful, colorful Samoa. Come visit me. Come visit me. I promise my birds will fly above you to protect you. My fish will swim before you to guide you. My fruits will be served to feed you. My breeze will rush to calm you. My sun will ignite fire to warm you. My moon, my stars will shine to adore you. Because I am beautiful, colorful Samoa. Come visit me. Come visit me. Now, will you visit me? How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Your contestant number two, Miss EMD, Carameli Oriana Schuster. Thank you, Miss EMD, Carameli Oriana Schuster. Please. Welcome on the stage, your contestant number three. When traumatic events are of human design, those who bear witness are caught in the conflict between victim and perpetrator. All the perpetrator asks is that the bystander do nothing. He appeals to the universal desire to see, hear, and speak no evil. The victim on the contrary, ask the bystander to share the burden of pain. The victim demands action, engagement, and remedial.
Samo Ae, o Sao Wangai Tsono Ainga, o Abeo Seafi Mumu, ele é Matsimei. O Otato Sopo Le Tua Oi, o Alepeti Le Faaloalo, ma o Angalo Le Fianainga na Otato Siama Le Tua. E a Tato Malu Vue Faatasi, e a Tia Esse Tara Fu, ma Tsao Fi Nei Loa Sao Wanga. Powerful message, a powerful message, ladies and gentlemen, from contestant number three, Miss Daihano Maungalui. Paf Chechele, Miss Daihano Maungalui, to Maava Eva Chunapali. Contestant number four's talent will be portrayed, she will be portraying a young Tamaitai Samoa living in a world of strength where you become the voice to stand and empower others to do the same. Naitosala Jane Schuster was born and raised in Samoa and migrated in New Zealand, but she is a proud Samoan who loves to advocate for the community and strongly believes in equality. Contestant number four. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ms. Tap's fashion, Naitosala Jane Schuster, your contestant number four. Thank you, Ms. Tapp's fashion. Please, welcome on the stage for a challenge. Contestant number five, Ms. Samoa, New South Wales. Ms. Fasi Faitafa Talimatasi Lilo Levavi.
Passe, passe, passe. Sai o seu cama foi. Sai o seu fofo vai. Passe. Before the arrival of missionaries and the development of modern day medicine, we Samoans were already in one with Mother Nature. With the use of Samoan's strong belief in its land and tropical fauna for medicinal and healing purposes. Mama, Mama, Waka for four, Se Wakinga Udima. The use of the coconut oil from Uu Samoa for a four to comfort and ease the ache of one's pain in various parts of the body. From an early age, our children in particular, a young Tamekta Isamoa is taught the basics of a fufuo by her grandmother. The motions of the lomi and enge to ease the discomfort of an aching leg, arms, shoulders or back. The use of the nauti to further soothe the ache and pain of one's discomfort. The use of the tianu or midrib of a coconut leaf to fulfill a sty or a fulfua in one's eye. This method is practiced where the taulasia would sit a few meters away, but directly in front of the patient. The tianu is then twirled with its pointing to one eye with the sty with jerking motion into those as if to pop the style. Bibisi technique is practiced where roots, leaves are chewed, then placed directly onto the room. Pati pati maile afia, chaleni matungo fie. From your contestant number five, thank you, Miss Samoa Nilsa Fuyos, Miss Fasi Faitafa Chalimatasi Lilo Levavi. Contestant number six, Miss Samoa Australia, Hopeland's talent is entitled Hallelujah. The beautiful Miss Samoa Australia's talent tonight entails an inspirational song picked by Hopeland herself. It is relevant to her walk with God. The song exemplifies King David as a man who lived, loved, and made mistakes. Although he fell short of the glory of God, the Bible declares him as a man after God's own heart. Hopeland encourages each beautiful daughter of Samoa to continue to strive to live out their God-given purpose on this earth. And for those who are stuck at a crossroads, to continue to walk with your head held high. As it says in James 1.12, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss, Austro Miss Samoa Australia, Hopeland Ayesi Toloa. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and that pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. The powerful king composed and
Your faith was good, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight all went right through ya. She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the Joy party put in my love here, but a child in the mountain of here, but a ship from a mountain of here. Thank you very much, Miss Samoa, Australia. Contestant number seven Adele dedicates dedicate her talent to her beloved Samoa as a tribute to the youth of Samoa here in the motherhood and abroad. She lives, this, this talent is about living a life of storms. Adele's song gives us the message, there is hope after every storm, that we must be strong, that we must persevere, and most of all, that we must have faith. Fight the good fight of faith. There is victory in the end with God. Adele was inspired by the song in her own personal journey. As a youth herself, she has seen how affected her fellow youth are with the issues of mental health cyberbullying, pressures of society and family. So she sings this song as her advice to her fellow youth everywhere and encourages them to reach out when they are in need of help. God will always be there for those who will continue to love us all. Adele offers one of her favorite passages from Romans 8:28. For all things work for the good of those who love God. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for contestant number seven, Miss Samoa Victoria, Adele Power Sophia. It's how let's 
Ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that beautiful? Thank you, Adele. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I won't get it wrong again, we have contestant number eight, Miss Original Style, Natasha Darrell. Natasha's talent is to be true to herself through her talent because she demonstrates her skills as a trainer and advocate towards the elimination of all forms of violence against women and children. Natasha is passionate about gender equality and the empowerment of women in different arenas. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha is going to take you away with a powerful performance about family violence. I am a trainer and an advocate of ending violence against women and children. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you, and you are my audience tonight. This is an opportunity to inform and educate perpetrators and victims of the impacts of violence to the social and economic developments of Samoa. Sadly, the victims are women, children, and persons with disability. Evidence shows that violence against women and children continue to escalate and abuse is an emerging issue of critical concern. Why do we need that? Family safety study shows 60% of women had experienced abuse in their lifetime. 89% of girls and 90% of boys experienced violence in their lifetime. And 100% of people with disabilities experienced the same. Samuai, oi loto i fale nei se fa fita uli o nga onga ele e ngata ina a fia ai le te mau a ingo la tunu u. A e sili ona onga onga le a fia ai o le file mu i tu tonu o a ha inga ma le vata pu ia. O fea e a la ta a fea ngai nga e sapi ma fa a me melo i ai le tau tu a fata matani. Fa e mai foi o le pa e ma le a uli. O le mea uli uli le mata o oile tu a ngane lau fea ngai nga. A o lea ua mapu i ti inga. Ua i ai nei o maota maulaua le toto masaa, ma le au pungisa. Ua leo to e malu lau fea ngainga ma le ta masaa i o ua pitanga. Ua e fasi fa amo amo a foe i le faa nau fa atama o le ala peisia i o se tama se manu. Ua le ai suna faa sino manga. A o fea foe au safi a finga o au o maatua faa nau. O i awe, o fea la taanga nuu. A o fea o iai le faa vae o sa amoa, e faa vae i le atua. Talo fae sa amoa, ua mama ioa, mama i taloa lo ta sa. E le e faa tonua e la matapia le mana ia, ai o le alofa moli po. Ladies and gentlemen, as a young Samoan woman, I urge you all tonight to lead and be an advocator for ending violence against women, children and people with disabilities. There is a limit to what we do as human beings, but I believe that God is the only answer. Pati pati mai ne afia. Pafte chile, the switch of one number value, Miss Original Style, or Chaleni Matang of Fie, out of the natural for Imo Matoli to Pautama. That's of Ayele Ulu, or Faongali Leila Vanoa, a young lady who uses her three minutes to put her advocacy messages across. Thank you, Miss. And the Public Service Commission will be very proud of her too. Tristan. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number nine, Alexandra Yakopo, Miss House of Gold. Talo Palawa Samoa, I am Alexandra Yakopo, and you are here with Samoa Global News. Up next, we have three of our members who will be featuring their stories on some of the current issues in the world today. This is more from them. Thank you, Alexander. My name is Sonia Gupta Benjamin. 
and we're voting to you live all the way from MB. Poverty is one of the major issues here and it has been reported that 22%, which is equivalent to 270 million people who are living below the poverty line. This is a major concern and we call upon all leaders of every nation to come together to eradicate poverty throughout the world. Thank you and over to you, Lisa. Thank you, Sonia. I'm Lisa McPhee reporting to you from London. Climate change is one of the major issues here, which has brought about many dramatic changes in our weather patterns. This is a major concern, and we call upon every nation to reduce our gas emissions for a safer environment for our future generations. That is all from me. Over to you, Sean. Thank you, Lisa. Me reporting from Jamaica, Wagwan. Michelle Mali, reporting to you from Kingston. One of the major issues that we have in Jamaica is violence, bloodshed. Many of our youth, no good, no good man. So I call upon every nation to come together to work on peace and harmony throughout the world. Like what Mali said, one love, man. Well, Samoa, you've seen it for yourself, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I told you to buckle your seatbelts. Thank you, Miss House of Gold. This house is coming down. Our country has been severely affected by the impacts of climate change. To address these major impacts of climate change, Samoa has committed itself to a tool called NAMA, which is aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions for Samoa. Samoa's NAMA focuses on supporting sustainable land transport. Based on research in 2007, the transport sector is responsible for the highest level of greenhouse gas emissions. It is likely that there has been an increase in greenhouse gas emissions as we have seen an increase in the number of vehicles imported into our country. Therefore, we need to monitor this increase and identify ways to reduce the emissions from land transport sector. Samos Nama hopes to achieve and contribute to reducing climate change impacts in the world by reducing the impacts locally. Triple T Services Inc. We do general construction, welding and fencing, security, landscaping, tree trimming, general maintenance, news media, and commercial transportation. Call us on 258-5300 or email ttolwono at gmail.com. We can do it now. Safety is our priority.